you're back in the day. Huge video, man. I've done my research and we have 13 guys you've never heard of that are great investments to make tons of stubs. First guy, let's prove, let's prove the point. Josh H. Smith. Why does this guy get a middle name and nobody else does? I don't know, man. Listen, join the Discord link down below. Smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, become a member. Members already have heard of these guys. Prices could be a little bit higher. But on this season, man, who the hell is this guy? 294 batting average with four nukes. That's a pretty high batting average. Batting 430 in his last seven games. He's looking pretty darn solid as of right now. That's why I like Josh Smith as a buy. And listen, the whole point of these bronzes is bronze to gold exchange. You know, once this bronze goes 75 overall, it's not about necessarily the fact that he is a 50 stell quick sell. It's about the fact that you can exchange him for silver to gold exchange packs once he gets called the silver. And then you're paying less, you're paying 400 stubs for a gold player. And you're gonna pull an 84 overall and you make some bang for your buck. So that's why these bronzes are really solid buys. First up is Josh Smith, I like him. Up next is Justin Slayton. We're gonna have a few in a, in a row. Justin Slayton right now, you can see he's close to quick sell, so zero risk. On this season, 35 innings pitched, 37 strikeouts, solid numbers. 31 hits and only six walks. This guy's playing pretty solid. His last outing, he threw three innings, uh, two walks, three strikeouts, two hits. I like him as a buy, especially at quick sell. It's no brainer, no risk. Will you're a bright youth. This guy's been a bright spot for the Red Sox, but coming back from injury. So I don't expect this guy to potentially go up this update. He's not, you know, his last game was on June 2nd. And right now when I'm recording this, it's June 18th. So not enough time, but he's starting a rehab assignment. And on the season, man, 270 on the season with, uh, with six home runs and 170 at bats. So once he comes back from injury, this is someone that can play themselves to a higher price for the next roster update. So a bit longer term for a bright you guy like him as a buy. Alec Marsh, 65 stubs right now. And he should be starting soon. This guy, he might already be cooked by the time this video comes out on Wednesday, because um, I think he might pitch today. So 67 innings pitched, 61 strikeouts. Only 19 walks and 54 hits. I mean, what really does he have to do? His last outing, seven innings pitched, one hit two walks and seven strikeouts. So his last outing was his best by far, which has his price probably higher. Yep, you can see the boost in price. Another good start, and then we're looking at a guaranteed silver. Now this guy is my favorite of the video. Logan, holy hell, how do you say his name? Logan O'Hop. Logan O'Hop is here. 460 batting average last seven games, 280 on the year with nine home runs. Are you kidding me? With bro Look at his stats, man. This guy's going up and overall, and it's not even close. Now he's got to go about, he's got to go 76. You're basically buying him to go 76 or higher right now. And really you're hoping he goes 77 this update. If he goes 77, then you're in a good spot. Ronel Blanco, similar story, man. This guy is also here. Last outing, seven innings pitched, zero hits. Three walks and eight strikeouts. On the year, his stats look pretty solid, especially his hits per nine numbers. I think that could go up as well. Uh, his walks, he has been walking, guys. What the hell are you doing? Are you Blake Snell 2.0? Now, you need Blanco to go 77 overall uh, to make some stubs. So, I mean, can he get a plus three? I think he deserves it. Bryce Wilson. Bryce with an S. That's kind of weird. Now, on the season, 63 innings pitched, 50 strikeouts, 55 hits, 24 walks. But, I mean, look at him. Last outing was probably his best of the year as well. Five in the third, only three hits and six strikeouts. You're kind of, it's basically a pitcher flip. It's a bronze pitcher flip. We saw what happened with the last bum, wherever he was, uh, Alec Marsh. We saw, we saw what, what can happen. You know, they're, they're down at quick sell and then a great start. And then we can see his price potentially shoot up and skyrocket. So I like him as a pitcher flip. Jojo Romero. Listen, man, this guy's been good. 31 innings pitched, 28 strikeouts, 23 hits. But the reason he's here is only five walks, five walks on the season, and he has a 65 walk per nine. Now they're weird with relievers, but I think Jojo Romero deserves silver and he's pretty low cost. Up next is Christopher Sanchez. Christopher Sanchez, another really, really solid pitcher foot man. This guy's last outing, seven innings pitched, five strikeouts. He's shown that he has pretty good stuff, got a pretty nice changeup, 
Now, his hits per nine is kind of cooked. 77 innings, 81 hits, yikes. 24 walks and 66 strikeouts. You know, you're basically relying on a good outing to make him go silver, but I like him as a buy for the pitcher flip. You can see his price is going to do weird things. Cooper Criswell. Looks like we're going to have a quick video, man. We got four more guys left, but there's 13 new players right now. Cooper Criswell, he's a common. He's okay. This this is where you make some bang. Ready? When he goes to a 65 overall bronze, his new quick sale will be 25 subs. So this is a five times stub investment right here. And he's been really solid. 52 innings pitched, 49 strikeouts, 50 hits, 13 walks. I think he deserves bronze. And I think his next start can solidify that. And it's risk free, man. Now we got Nick Gonzalez. Let's take a look. This guy, 300 batting average on the year. 300 batting average, five home runs. Still, He's still playing well in his last seven games as well. The thing that worries me here is he's a 72. So this guy needs to get a plus three to be relevant, and he's already priced pretty high. At this price, I'd probably pull a trigger on someone else, but I definitely could see a world where he goes, where he goes sober. I think he deserves it. Tobias Myers. Listen, man, who the hell are these guys? But who cares? Because the stats ain't lying. This guy, listen, another guy that can go to 25 stuff quick sell. Now, the thing is, you got to be buying these guys in super high quantity, man. <laughs> Have fun clicking away all day. Now, 40 innings pitched, 36 strikeouts, 14 walks, 33 hits. His hits per nine is really solid in real life. Last two starts have been dominant from this guy. I think he deserves bronze for sure. The last guy of the video, man. Quick video today, but oh, not, it's pretty rare that we get a lot of new guys uh, this close to the update, which is next Friday. Brett Wisely, a, another guy that can potentially go bronze. 288 batting average with two home runs on the year. You'd like to see him hit for more power, but who cares? Because with a 288 batting average, now this is only 73 at bat, so smaller sample size. But, you know, his contact deserves a boost with the fact he's batting 288. If he can maintain that over the next week, then we should see him go up. That's the video, man. This might be one of the shortest Ross Family videos of the year. That's 13 new names. You guys have been asking for some bronzes, for some commons. And there it is. Those are the guys I found. Smash the like button, show some support. Peace out. Thanks for watching.